discover the ruins of a forgotten colony and a fortune in Spanish gold? Or does the island have darker secrets in store for us? That should keep him from changing the channel. Eight years is an eternity in game years. Uncharted, Drake's fortune is proof of that. Technology, acting, and gameplay mechanics have all made remarkable leaps and bounds over those pivotal years, and Uncharted, as a series, has been at the bleeding edge for most of that time. Nathan Drake's humble first adventure has been remastered for the PS4, but has nearly a decade of refinements made this Treasure Hunter's inaugural journey a superfluous red herring. Let's find out here in this review of Uncharted Drake's Fortune Remastered. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> Visuals were the original Uncharted's call to fame before and after people got their hands on it. The fidelity of the gorgeous green jungles did a good job of offsetting the monotonous greys that were too prevalent in the early years of the last generation. And that quality still stands up in this remaster, which has done a phenomenal job of improving everything from the environments to the character models which no longer look like they are plastic dolls coated in oil. This visual upgrade tricks your brain into thinking it looked like this all those years ago. That speaks to both the quality of the work Bluepoint has done for this collection, along with the remarkable job Naughty Dog did the first time around. The new and amazing photo mode is a great way to get a closer look at these improved visuals and set up great shots in the process. Unlike many remasters, Bluepoint has also tampered with the feel of the game. The motion controlled grenade throwing and log balancing have been thankfully cut out, snipping some of the bad, gimmicky fat that clung to the original PS3 release. Refinements to the shooting are the most noticeable since the tighter feel and improved frame rate help relieve the moments where Drake's fortune shows its age. And sadly, these moments are frequent because, despite the enhancements, the gunplay is dated no matter what way you slice it. Today, even with Bluepoint slight adjustments in the superior DualShock 4, the wonkiness of the cover system and stiffness of the shooting make combat negatively stick out. Drake will sometimes attach himself to the wrong side of a wall, exposing himself to the never-ending waves of anorexic bullet sponge pirates with Terminator-like accuracy. Enemies dump into arenas for too long and take too many bullets to down, making most shootouts an equal test of patience and skill. Gunning down pirates peaks in areas where the combat isn't put under too much stress, but the continuous flood of enemies makes sure that isn't always the case. Naughty Dog's third-person shooter and experience shows up more as the later levels stretch these dated mechanics further than they can usually support. Platforming falls victim to a similar fate. Shimmying along the beautiful ruins and caves is great for breaking up the pace between shootouts since it is quiet and simple yet involving. But Drake's first game clumsiness causes him to slip off certain ledges seemingly at random which is heightened by the odd camera angles and weird depth perception for some jumps. Neither the shooting or the climbing is outright bad. Both have their highs, but their lows are even more apparent as they buckle more and more under the duress of each passing year. Great storytelling, however, is a timeless element. Nate's first journey revolves around uncovering the lost city of El Dorado from his supposed ancestor Francis Drake. No good treasure goes without dirty thieves as well, making this a fairly by-the-numbers gold-snatching story. The snappy writing and interesting characters separate this from other banal, treasure-centric stories like Tomb Raider. Drake's witty banter with the cast is as charming and delightful as it ever was, with some convincing animation to match it, which still looks great even for something from the budding days of video game motion capture. Carefully doled out characterization and a well-paced plot make it easy to see the end of this fun, entertaining story. It's a timeless popcorn video game narrative, and one of the best by one of the best. The sad truth is that Uncharted Drake's fortune is not as good as you remember. The happy truth is that there are still some respectable aspects about it, even more with this splendid remaster. Combat and platforming have their humble beginnings here, but the gorgeous visuals and entertaining storytelling are both aspects only buffed by a remaster such as this. 
Greatness does indeed start from small beginnings, and Uncharted Drake's Fortune is proof of that. Uncharted Drake's Fortune Remastered gets an 8 out of 10. Thank you everybody for watching, and my name is Michael Aria, and I'm signing off. Later. <laughs>